So to make our slippers, I have chosen, um, this is some scrap fleece that I had left over. I also have some leftover pieces of what I call pleather. I'm going to use this as my backing, the part that goes up under the feet. To start with, I had my daughter to trace out my baby's feet. My daughter traced out the feet of my two granddaughters. What I've done, I've cut their feet out and used, this is going to be my pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace this out maybe about, I'm just going to go maybe about a half an inch out. And so we know that that's going to be, I don't know if you can see my little outline. This is going to be the right foot, of course. You flip it over when you make the other side. You're going to cut the pattern out. So now I have my two feet cut out. This is Madison's foot and this is Kamari's foot. We're going to cut out the base. You're gonna cut two, so you're gonna fold it over. I'm just gonna put their two little feet right here. And I'm going to cut um, two of these for each shoe. Got my handy chalk pencil. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to chalk it out. And as I chalk it, I'm leaving about um, a quarter of an inch to maybe three-eighths of an inch. Because I'm going to do a small seam allowance. See, I traced them out, so now I'm going to cut these out. So I have my two my shoe patterns cut out. I decided I wasn't going to use this fleece because I wanted to make this a little fun for the girls. I wanted to have something exciting for them. So I thought this would be fun for the kids, for the girls, because as they're wearing their um, slippers, they can be identifying the animals on here. So I had one in blue and I have one in black. But this is going to be the outer part portion of the shoe. I had some leftover velvet. Oh, now how soft is velvet? So I decided to make the velvet the inside of the shoe. So when their foot goes in there, I would line it so it would feel all nice and comfy. To give the shoe some padding, I've got some, it's like a fleece that I'm going to put inside the shoe to give the shoe some extra firmness. So what I've done is I've cut out a couple of layers of interfacing and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to iron it in place. So I've got the interfacing ironed in and I just put it on one side. I did a couple of layers. So now I'm gonna cut out the velvet because this is where the foot will go. So we want that nice and smooth in there. So I'm gonna cut out two uh, pieces of um, this felt. And this is white felt. And I think I called it fleece before, but it's white felt. So we're gonna cut out uh, two pieces per shoe. So now we have all the layers. We got the pleather layer. Then you're gonna take the two pieces of the felt. They'll go behind or sandwich in between, and then your final pleather leather layer. So we're gonna pin those in place. So now my pieces are cut out for the base of our shoe. So now we're gonna cut out the top of the slipper. You wanna make sure that you find a print that's gonna be pretty. And I think I wanna use the animals right here. Is I'm gonna mark it about right here, which is about almost to the heel on both sides. And you're gonna cut an inch and a half. And then when you get to the other side, you're gonna do the same thing. So, I'm gonna cut that across. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. And I'll show you what I meant, meant by that. As you see, this is bigger than the shoe itself. Here is where you would actually pin the top of the shoe. Because you wanna have enough room in here that when you put your foot in, it lifts up or it raises up and by doing that see that gives you room to put the foot up in there okay and see then when you put your put she puts her foot up in there she can walk around and it don't slide off her foot is so I'm just gonna measure up about an inch which will be about right here and then we're just gonna do like a smiley face and as you see it's beginning to look like a slipper so when you put this back on there now and you, you're just gonna force it around. So now when you put your, when she puts her foot up in there, see? We have a nice cute slipper. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go back to my pattern and I'm gonna cut the actual foot out. So now there's the foot. We're gonna flip it over so it can be the other side of the foot. And you're gonna slide that in there. And you'll see that when she puts her toes up in there, it rides all the way in. Okay, I've got my um, 
shoe pieces cut out. I've got my velvet for the inside and this is my outside. So we're going to lay um, them together, wrong sides together. And what you're going to do now is what I like to do is I want to do a stay stitch because if any of you have ever sewn velvet, you know that velvet moves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some pins in it and I'm going to top stitch this around to hold this in place. All right, I've done my basting stitch. So there are the two and you see I've got them sit, I've got them facing me or the direction that I want them to be because when the shoe is, the foot is in there. So I got the two tigers facing each other. And in this case, I got the two monkeys looking at each other. But before we pin the shoe, we want to finish off this edge here. Now to finish off the shoe, um, I've, I'm using a double fold wide bias tape. I'm going to finish this off by attaching the bias trim to the edge of the slipper. So I'm going to do that now. Well, I've attached the bias band to the, um, the shoe. I've got it attached to both. So that kind of seals off and this is the portion that the foot will go up in and it'll go down like that. So now it's time to attach the shoe, uh, the top of the shoe to the sole of the shoe. And remember to line your shoes up in the direction that you want them. I'm going to uh, stitch down the shoe the same way I stitched down the other portion. Okay, I've top stitched my shoe down. As you can see, it's beginning to look like a shoe. Now that I've got my shoe pieces all sewn together, but now we want to finish off the heel of the shoe. So I'm going to take the same seam binding and I'm going to finish off the heel of the shoe. And I'm going to come way up into here because all that's going to be covered up anyway. So I'm going to start about here and I'm going to finish this all the way around the edge to seal the shoe. I've attached my bias, um, double-sided or my wide bias trim around the edge or the sole of the shoe. So I've got it sewn around the heel because we're going to attach the, the top of the shoe to the sole area here. I wanted my two monkeys facing each other and I wanted my two lions facing each other. So you're going to turn the shoes over and you're going to sew or pin this in place. You're going to put the right side on the wrong side of the sole. You're going to pin your the top of the shoe together to the sole of the shoe. So this is what the shoe is going to look like on the wrong side. Okay, now we've I've um, sewn my shoe. So now what we're going to do is um, turn and when you sew the shoe, you got to sew through all thickness. So now you're going to turn the shoe to the right side. This part's going to be a little tricky. And then you got to work it around so that you get a nice round look up to the shoe. And there's your little slipper. See, my hand acts as the foot. Slide it up in there, and there's a simple little slipper. So I'm gonna turn the rest of them out. So now we've turned all our, turned both pairs of our shoes, turned them to the right side, and it's just a simple little quick project, and it just, and it works. I think they turned out really good. I think my girls are going to love them. So you're just going to put the glue dots on just like that and just put them in spots. And what this does, it acts as extra grip for the bottom of the shoe. And there are our slippers. I hope you try this project. Happy sewing.